The coronavirus has caused widespread school closures for an unknown duration. Teachers are scrambling to find ways to support students from afar through distance and online learning. If you're feeling overwhelmed by this daunting task, you're certainly not alone. However, if you're new to distance learning, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Hey, it's Josh from Wondershare Demo Creator, and today I'm going to share four tips for teachers making the shift to teaching online. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. Distance learning is a mode of learning that includes using technology such as Moodle, the online learning system, online meeting tools such as Microsoft Teams or Zoom, screen recording tools such as Demo Creator and OBS, phone and email. While the interaction with your instructor may be different, students have been using these tools for years and you can too be successful with distance learning. As you transition to distance learning, coming up are several practical recommendations to help you succeed. Tip number one, simplicity is key. Every teacher knows what it's like to explain new instructions to their students. It usually starts with a whole group walkthrough followed by an endless stream of questions from students to clarify next steps. While this process can be frustrating at times, students can always rely on each other and the teacher in the room when they're stuck. One of the challenges of distance learning is that you and your students are no longer in the same room to collectively tackle misconceptions. Instead, the large bulk of learning time is inevitably going to be driven by tasks that require a high level of self-direction. And as a result, simplicity is key. It is critical to design distance learning experience that have a very clear instruction and utilize only one or two resources. It's also best, when possible, to provide resources like readings as PDFs or videos that students can always access. Keep in mind that simple structures can still require rigorous work. Tasks with few instructions often lead to the greatest amount of higher order thinking, as students figure out what to do within defined parameters. Distance learning should push educators to think about how they could be leaner and more concise with their delivery of new information. Tip number two, establish an easy digital home base. In the spirit of simplicity, it's vital to have a digital home base for your students. This can be a district provided learning management system like Google Classrooms, an easy to use screen recorder or video editor, and so on. By the way, in my next video, I'll be showing you how to use Wondershare Demo Creator to start your online learning course video making. You need a single digital platform that your students can always visit for the most recent and up-to-date information. It can be tempting to jump around between all the cool edtech applications that are out there, especially as so many of them are offering free services right now. But simplicity and familiarity are invaluable. Students need to feel comfortable going to the same place to access the same tools. The farther away you are from your students, the more important it is to cultivate stability and practice norms. Additionally, if attendance was a challenge before, distance learning is going to magnify it. So students need a place to go when they fall out of the loop. Filling in gaps is only going to get harder when the teacher cannot quickly engage in individual or small group instruction. Your students are going to need to take control of their own learning. Your goal is to create a clear framework that allows them to do that. Number three, prioritize long student-driven assignments. Efficiency is key when designing distance learning experiences. Planning is going to take more time and require a higher level of attention to detail. You will not be able to correct mistakes on the fly or suddenly pivot when kids are disengaged. To effectively manage your time and sanity, you will want to prioritize longer student-driven assignments and tasks that buy you time to keep planning future units and that get your students off the computer. Focus on building toward long-term projects where students have autonomy and a clear set of checkpoints and deadlines that need to be met. When possible, create opportunities for students to discuss what they're learning with their families and include an element of student choice to really build engagement. Number four, enhance individual touch points with your students. What your students will miss the most is the human connection that is cultivated in your classroom. The little interactions that you have with them in the hallways, before and after class, or during breaks in lessons are irreplaceable. While it can be tempting to focus on content in your distance learning assignments and instructional videos, what matters more is creating structures for personalized touch points with your students. You can create these touch points through any medium you like. Emails, video messages, phone calls, messages through your learning management system, 
comments on shared documents, etc. Create a structure and stick to it. Your students will see your investment and know that you care about them. Okay, so these are some tips for students on how to move to online distance learning. It's important to bear in mind that cultivating and engaging distance learning experience is hard. It takes time and an incredible amount of patience. If you're new to the experience, you're probably going to feel like a first year teacher again, and that's okay. Tackle the challenges step by step. Keep your students updated on your progress and stay positive. You can do this. In my next video, we will show you how to film and build out your online course video easily. So please stay tuned. And if you found this video useful, do click the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.